is in their young hands. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jedi Master and Padawan learners from our very own Jedi Training Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, our planet is in good hands. What do you get when you mix two great things like peanut butter and chocolate? Like peanut butter and jelly? I'm talking about the great lines of George. He's a little short to be a stormtrooper, but he's my personal favorite. Let's hear for Donald Duck, Stormtrooper Donald! And finally, the Dork Lord of the Sith. Let's hear it for Darth Goofy! You know, he celebrated his birthday yesterday. He's 81, but you are looking great, dude. You're looking great. Oh, uh, but Goofy, you forgot something. What? What do you mean? He has his cape? You got the cape. You got, yeah, you forgot your pants. You forgot Whoops. your pants. Boom! 81 years Close. old. Congratulations, Goofy. He takes those Zuma classes. That's why he looks so good. Ladies and gentlemen, the, for I, the force is strong with him. Let's hear for our young Padawans from our own Jedi Training Academy. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for our young Padawans, but more importantly, those that support the young Padawans, the Padawan parents! Padawan parents! Here to maintain law and order in the galaxy are the final First Legion, Vader's Fist of the Galactic Empire. Together, they unite over 5,000 members across the planet and have patrolled Disney's Hollywood Studios since 2003. Please welcome the Florida Garrison of the 501st Legion and their sister organization, the Rebel Legion. Ladies and gentlemen, of course we love our training academy, but we also love our Padawan parents, don't we? We love our Padawan parents. They're busy taking their younglings to the Jedi training academy. They do lots of charitable work. That's well, right. Let me just do a real quick shout out. Right here in the front, we've got some of our Imperial officers, including some. We have Kevin. Kevin is celebrating a birthday. There you go. Happy birthday, Kevin. Happy birthday. Thanks for joining us to celebrate your birthday this year. You know what they do for Kevin on his birthday? They blow up a planet. That's, That's fun. fun. That's fun to be here. Uh oh, younglings, here comes Emperor Palpatine. Everybody, boo! Boo the Emperor! Boo! Now, as I was saying, they do charitable work for organizations such as the American Red Cross. Big Brothers, Big Sisters. Toys for Tots. Special Olympics. Uh, the Florida Zone, Florida Hospital. Give kids the world. Many, many more. If you would like to find out more about the final first, log on to www.501st.com. Of course, we've got some TIE fighter pilots, including the Baron with the red stripe. He's now, trouble. Wait a minute. If anybody wants to wear some plastic, I would like to wear the red one. With the gold accents, that is a Nova Elite Trooper. In the red, a Magma Trooper. Perfect. Finally, Magma. Look at this little lady coming up right now. She looks tough. Very nice. Ah, uh, some storm troopers. Well, it looks like a jump trooper there. All right, you may recognize a jump trooper from Republic Commando. I uh, think all the ladies could agree we like a guy with a lot of plastic. Absolutely. Here we have the storm trooper drill team. Precise formation. Some of my favorites, the Snow Troopers, also known as the Blizzard Force. Sir. Because when they attack a planet, it is with such force, like a blizzard. Absolutely, ladies and gentlemen. They kind of look like they just got off Project One Way. They do. Very fancy. I love the outfits, boys. Recognize these from the guys from the Black Battle of Hawk. I remember. But then we move to Return of the Jedi, where you recognize the Biker Scouts. The scout troopers right here. Watch out for that tree! <laughs> Very nice. Again, look at the detail, attention to detail, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, from the planet Tatooine, the sand troopers. Their hammers need to be locked a little bit. A little dirty. He's on the droid you're looking for. Move along. Move along. Guys, that armor is not going to pass inspection. I do have to say that. That is, that is, needs to be buffed out for $99.95. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, from the most wretched hive of scum and villainy, Who Los Island Space Park, we've got Greedo. Greedo, Han called. He'd like to meet you at the canteen and buy you a shot. Gotcha. And of course, the bounty hunter Bausch is here. Uh, Bausch, of course, we know who that really is, but it'll, your secret is our secret. All right, we'll keep it secret. Say, Dax, who's coming up next all the way from Tatooine? What do you call one or more Jawas together? 
A celebration. That's right. Oh, don't you, did you, did you have dinner with your mother? I did, we did. We had dinners, we had tattoos. Tattoos. And of course, the Tuscan Raiders. Only a face a mother can love. They're not big conversationalists. No, no. They're the chafing people living in the sand. We what? did have dinner the other night at the Olive Garden. What did they have? They got the Tuscan chicken. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, we have Anakin Skywalker and uh, accompanied by members of the 501st Legion. Now, of course, the 501st, they named themselves the 501st, and Do George Lucas made them officially part of the Star Wars universe in Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Got some shock troopers going by. Green, good to see you here, Commander Green. All right, we have a Wookiee. All the way from Kashi. Saranta is here, Wookiee Saranta. Because apparently they're five and first cause of shit, ain't they? All right, very good. I think I see Master Plo Koo coming up. Uh, Master Plo Koo. Plo Koo! And the Wolf Pack, ladies and gentlemen. Named in honor of the supervising director of Star Wars The Clone Wars, we have the Wolf Pack. In, in honor of Dave Filoni. It's a powerful Jedi. This is the Rebel Legion, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, everybody, let's hear it for the good guys! They are the sister organization representing the good guys. But they uh, do work together, ladies and gentlemen. Powerful Jedi. The Jedi Power. Masters are watching in Padawans. Oh, look, it's Obi-Wan. 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 There's a name I haven't heard in quite some time. Ah, from the, play, from the video game Star Wars Force Unleashed, we have Star Killer. And a B-Wing pilot as well as an X-Wing pilot, ladies and gentlemen. Two of the cutest little Ewoks I've ever seen. Piece of trivia, Starkiller. Luke Starkiller was the original name of Luke Skywalker before it got changed very early in the creative process of Star Wars. I think we can all agree when we see the 501st combining the magic of Star Wars into the real world, it's heartwarming. Those weekends visiting Sarbides. Our first guest is the action star featured in such blockbusters as Sleepy Hollow and X-Men and the hit TV show Heroes. He also played the ninja commando Snake Eyes in G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra and its recent blockbuster sequel, G.I. Joe Retaliation. But Star Wars fans know him as the relentless Sith Lord Darth Maul. Please welcome Ray Park. Some more heroes from the Battle of Endor. Come on, everybody, let's hear it for the Ewoks! Hey, what happens when Luke Skywalker's star breaks down in Endor? I don't know. Ewoks! <laughs> I don't know. By the way, ladies. Here it comes right now. Our next celebrity guest may be small in stature, but is a TV and film giant. He has starred in such films as Willow, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and the Harry Potter series. He is also the star of his hit show, Life's Too Short. But Star Wars fans know him as Return of the Jedi's lovable Ewok, Wicked. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Warwick Davis. Some of the most powerful Jedi in the galaxy. We have, of course, Kit Fisto, the hero of the Battle of Mon Calamari. Shock T, the rockiness Jedi, and of course, Mace Windu. What does Mace Windu? I don't know. Anything Mace Woman say. And of course, the only character to appear in all six films, one of two, everyone's favorite astromech droid, R2-D2. Come on, everybody, let's Our hear third you. celebrity guest is a legendary Hollywood voice actor. His long list of credits include Darkwing Duck, Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers, and dozens of unforgettable Disney characters. On Star Wars The Clone Wars, he is the scheming voice of pirate Hondo Anaka. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jim Cummings. Ladies and gentlemen, over on the prey route, let's hear it for Warwick Davis. Make sure you download his app, because everyone wants a Warwick in their pocket. Well, it looks like our stage is filling up with some of your favorite Star Wars characters. Here comes our favorite Dark Lord of the Sith, Darth Maul. Let's hear it for Ray Park! Our next guest played Muffy on the hit Disney Channel series, That's So Raven, and the voice of Mia the Bluebird in the Disney Junior hit, Sophia the First. 
She also provides the voice for Ahsoka Tano in Star Wars The Clone Wars and is the creator of her universe, an apparel line especially designed for fangirls. She once again reprises her role as host for Behind the Force. Please welcome Ashley Eckstein. And joining us on stage, Warwick Davis, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Captain Rex and Commander Cody here from the Clone Wars, and of course, Ahsoka Tano. What a wonderful face. Let's hear for Ashley Eckstein out there on the parade route. The voice of Ahsoka Tano, the creator of her universe. I believe that's a her universe you're wearing right now, isn't it, Ashley? Oh, yes, it is. Ladies and gentlemen, voiceover legend. Our final celebrity guest is a voice acting legend. Among his numerous credits, he is the voice of Johnny Test. Leonardo in the hit computer animated film Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the world's most famous caveman, Fred Flintstone. Yeah, no. Star Wars fans will recognize his voice as Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi from the hit TV series Star Wars The Clone Wars. Please welcome your Star Wars Weekend's host, James Arnold Taylor. And joining us on stage, Two stars from Star Wars The Clone Wars. We have the lovely Ashley Eckstein and her guest for Behind the Force, Mr. Jim Cummings. Some more bounty hunters coming our way. Some of the most feared bounty hunters in the galaxy. If you have a price on your hand, they don't want these coming out there because they have the quicker finger uppers. Django Fett. Oh, Sam Wessel. Of course, Sam Wessel. And joining us on stage is Sarge Benjamin. Any Boba Fett fans out there? Uh, Boba, the Sarlacc called. He wants to have you over for lunch. Oh, come on now. I think I see him now. Ladies and gentlemen, are there any Darth Vader fans? Let's hear it for Darth Vader! Why did Darth Vader cross the road? Why? To get to the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, joining us on stage, Boba Fett. <laughs> right now, it is my pleasure to introduce you, your host for Star Wars Weekend. Put your hands together. Let's hear it for Mr. James Arnold Taylor! Star Wars is a celebration of the entire Star Wars saga. And today, we are thrilled to be joined by some of Star Wars' greatest superstars. Leading the way for our visiting Star Wars celebrities is none other than our very own Jedi, Mickey Mouse. Nico, mira, Nico, mira. Next, we have the action star behind Darth Maul, Ray Barker. Next, the personal actor known to Star Wars fans as playing everyone's favorite Ewok wicket, Warren Davis. Next, from Star Wars The Clone Wars, the legendary voice actor behind the steaming pirate Honda Radaka, Jim Cummings. Also from Star Wars The Clone Wars, the voice of Ahsoka Tano, Ashley Eckstein. And your Star Wars Weekend's host, the talented voice of Obi-Wan Kenobi, James Arnold Taylor. Please consult your event guide for all Star Wars Weekend's presentations and locations, where you can see our celebrity guests and all your favorite Star Wars characters. We hope you enjoy your day at Disney's Hollywood Studios, and may the force be with you.